So I'm going to review and kind of talk about this Vatra battery that we got. This is a 48-volt uh, battery to tie into our solar stuff that we have here in the building. Um, it's 5,120 watt hours, uh, which means you can run something that runs 1,000 watts for a little over five hours with it. So uh, we're just adding it to our existing battery bank, um, and we'll test it out here and go through it. First of all, it's packaged very nicely, and it came through shipping, no issues. It's very, very nicely packaged. So we're going to install that in one of the slots here in our server rack cabinet. packaging. First impressions, it looks really nice. That smart battery LCD display is nice to have on there and the Bluetooth capability of it. It looks nice. So we're going to test this one out. It's the same 51.2 volts lithium iron phosphate. Uh, 100 amp hours and it's like 5,000 something watts. Okay, so I have connected this to my server rack here that does not fit in this EG4 server rack. This is a half inch taller than those are, or maybe one inch taller. I, I don't know, I measured it. It's seven inches, the others have a gap there, but it doesn't fit this way or even this way. It's a hair bigger each way, so it does not fit in the EG4 server cabinet. Um, it's plugged in now, it's at 71%. It's currently charging about 19 amps, 20 amps. So we'll let it sit here for a little bit. Um, it is hooked into the bus bar and all the way at the bottom is the positive going out and all the way at the top is the negative going out. So it's just with everything, uh, where the positive down there, negative up here, across there. So even though this is up taller, it's, it's hooked in correctly there. Yeah, she's charging 72% now, 18 amps. This is going to increase our battery storage here by about uh, 10%, maybe 12%. So we've got four of these EG4s. We've got the big battery, and then we've got another uh, two 48-volt servers. It is charging up good. There's overcharge protection built into the BMS. Everything seems to be working great. We're gonna discharge them uh, pretty heavily and check, check them out too, but it's, it's doing really well. It's handling loads great. Um, it's charging back up. We're discharging it, charging it. Everything seems to be doing really, really well. Plenty of power and working as advertised. I will tell you the testing is going so well. I went ahead and went on Amazon and bought me another one of these batteries just to have. It has so many good features on it. I love the BMS where you can log into it with Bluetooth on the phone and see the status on it. Um, it's also like $350 less than I paid for my other server rack batteries and it's got more and uh, more and better features on it. So I went ahead and invested some money and went ahead and, you know, even though I got the one, I was testing it out. I'm like, I want, I need another one of these. It's awesome. Yeah. With all of our solar panels, we start bringing in, um, power enough to cover our, our usage by about nine o'clock in the morning. Usually, um, depends on the time of the year, but the sp late spring, early su summer, that's when we're doing it. Uh, and then again, till about 6.30 at night, we're still covering covering our usage. So uh, we have a lot of more panels that are on the roof that you can't see. There's like another five rows that aren't visible from the ground. Um, this battery, dimension-wise, it's a little bit bigger than the other server rack batteries that I have, but uh, power-wise, it's exactly the same. Same voltage and everything. It's got the high temp uh, cutoff and low temp cutoff, so you can't charge it uh, or discharge it in super cold weather, which prevents battery fires. Um, it's got all the great features in there. It, it, you can't overcharge it. Um, it has a shutoff on it and, and then it's got the breaker on it too. Uh, that doesn't, uh, 
having the 48 volt, I love these server rack batteries because it's a nice way to store them. It doesn't take up as much room as having a whole bunch of individual like 12 volt batteries hooked together in series, then in parallel and all that. Uh, and we do run our entire house here too. You know, we live in this building. So we're, we're, you know, we have our residence plus the shop and everything is all run off of solar. So having these batteries is really, really important to us to be able to, to operate everything here uh, with no electric bill. So 5,000 watt hours per battery, a little 5,100. Um, that's, you know, you can run something that's a thousand watts for a little over five hours on it. That's, that's important to know, but you know, smaller devices, we have a constant load on our, of everything here of around a thousand to 1500 Watts, um, continuous all the time. That's just, you know, refrigerators running and security cameras and security lights and all that kind of stuff. So at nighttime, we always have those draws and then everything else, you know, you can choose to either run or not run, uh, to save and conserve power. So li living off grid is a challenge sometimes, but as long as we see the sun, you know, every other day, it's golden. We never have to worry about anything. Uh, if we have three cloudy days in a row, if they're not super rainy, we're, we're good too. Um, but the more batteries that we add to everything, the, the longer we can go without having the sun. So it makes that a little bit easier. Uh, just a few hours of sunshine a day. And with all those solar panels up there, we got getting close to 30 kilowatts of solar panels. Um, which means that in two hours of full sun between like 11.30 and 3 p.m., uh, we can, you know, fill up our entire battery bank, no problem. Uh, a few hours of partial sun, uh, maybe three hours, four hours, and it'll do it. But uh, yeah, even on a cloudy day, we're bringing in usually enough power to cover everything, uh, or most of our needs during the day. And then having that large battery bank is nice to be able to support everything for the shop. And we have big air compressors running and, uh, you know, multiple air conditioners running. We have uh, three or five, five units on the building itself for air conditioning because it's heated, heated and air conditioned with the heat pumps. Um, but yeah, it's, it, having the solar is awesome. And then the batteries are, are incredible. They give us so much power uh, to get us through the cloudy days and overnight. Um, it definitely saves us a lot of money to do that. Each battery probably pays back about $300 a year in savings by having it you know, run overnight to power everything and then charge it back up the next day. So that definitely, in just a couple of years, you have those the investment on those paid back off. Well, I've had these batteries for a couple months now, and I really like them. Uh, obviously, I went went out and bought another one if I didn't like them. And you know, they have a five year warranty. And I'll, I'm going to put a link in the description, so you, if it's something you want to go check out. But with anything, you know, please feel free to research it. Uh, this was a sponsored ad because they they gave me the first one, and then uh, just to review, and I, and I did like it, so I went out and bought another one. I, I really think they're a great great product.